Okay, my tricks. Today we are going to be going through the civil analytical question of the past paper for November 2023. And let's just get started. So it says, given the site plan of an existing service station of a proposed new fast food outlet and a covered walkway, a title panel and a table of questions, the drawing is not presented to the indicated scale. Okay, instructions complete the table below by neatly answering the questions which refer to the accompanying drawings, title, panel, and civil contents, which is obviously all of this on the page. Okay, so let's just get started. So it says, what is the email address of the architectural firm? So you can see it over here, um, acearch at africa.com. So you are going to start off by saying acearch at africa.com yeah and then it says what scale is indicated for the site plan so that will be scale 1 to 450 so you'll just write scale 1 to 450 yeah when was the first revision made to the drawing so your rev revisions are here on this little section here you can see first revision by number one and it was made on the 30th of january so you'll say 30th of the 01 of 2023. Okay, in which street does the service station exist? So we're going to see over here, we've got our service station. So it'll be, what am I saying? Your service station comes in here, so it will be on Quality Street. Okay, Quality Street. Oh, the service station exit, that's why I read it wrong. It's because you obviously have your entrance and your exit here. So, excuse me. <laughs> what is the height of the highest corner of lot 22 in meters? So, we're going to find if this is lot. 24. This will be lot 22, so we're going to look at the corner heights here. I will see that the highest corner height is this one here, B, at 351. So you'll write down 351. Okay. What is the finish on all the existing driveways? So you are going to have a look at your driveway. So let's just have a scene. Uh, have a look, sorry, um, entrance, brick paving laid on all existing driveways, okay, so they always stick it somewhere on your side plan, so just be prepared to look for um, all over to find your answer, so your answer will be brick paving. Brick paving, okay, how many existing underground underground fuel tanks are shown okay and you can see here there's the existing underground fuel tanks and that is obviously three of them so you will write three okay on what feature in the road is the zebra crossing okay and you can see here zebra crossing on 3.6 meter wide speed hump and it's obviously on a speed hump so your answer will be speed hump Okay, and then it says, what is the fall of the existing sewer line? Okay, so we are going to have to find a note for the sewer line. So let's just have a look here. Existing sewer line laid at 1 to 40. And so you will write 1 to 40. Okay, what is the height of the electronic display board in millimeters? Okay, and so we are going to find the display board. Here it is. So they give us the width depth and height, the height is 2,500, and so you'll write that down on your board, okay? Then it says, what does the abbreviation G at 1 stand for? So we're going to find one, we've got G, and it stands for gully, so you will write gully, okay? Then it says, name the feature at 2, and you're going to look at your symbol legend, and it is an evergreen tree, so you will write evergreen tree okay 
All right, then it says, what does the feature at three indicate? So we've obviously got this pointing to uh, a building in lot 24. So you can just say adjacent building or a civil structure. So I'm just going to put civil structure. Obviously, it is a building, but it's not relevant to the site here. Okay. To what must the new sewage line be connected? Okay. And so we are going to have new sewer line connected to existing sewer line. So it has to be connected to the existing sewer line. Existing sewer line okay perfect and then it says what is the thickness of the concrete apron in meters okay so we are going to have to have a look at all of our notes just to see where we can find it so it says here 150 concrete apron and we are going to then this is obviously a millimeter so we're going to change it to meters and it will be 0 0.15 meters Okay, in what color must new walkways be indicated on site plans? And that will be in red, obviously, because all new buildings and dwellings get colored in red. Okay, then question 17, which elevation of the new fast food outlet faces 7th Avenue? Okay, so here we've got 7th Avenue, and they're obviously asking us which elevation faces 7th Avenue. So first we're going to find the fast food outlet here. Then we've got our side plan. So we, I mean our side plan, sorry, our north point. So we've got north, east, south, and west. And it will be the southeast side that faces 7th Avenue. So you'll just say south east. Okay. Then it says if wall SS. Where is wall SS? Here it is here. Okay. On the new fast food outlet is 4.8 meters from boundary line AB. How far is it from building line TT? So now we've got to find TT. So that's over here, T and T in millimeters. Okay. And we are just going to have a look here. So we've got 3,000. Okay. And just give me a second, sorry, there's a lot of stuff happening in the background here, it's driving me nuts. Okay, hopefully things have settled down. Okay, so basically, if this is our boundary line AB, we want to figure out how far S is from TT. Obviously, we know that the full length here is 4.8, the building line is 3,000, so we're obviously going to minus that, and we are going to get 1,800, okay? They would probably want calculations. Um, because it's a two mark question, um, but it could also you could also just leave the answer. You should get it correct. Okay, in the space below, answer nineteen. Determine the perimeter of lot twenty two in meters. So obviously, that will be this over here. I'm oh, sorry, not the building. The <laughs> okay, the lot. So we're gonna basically use our corner heights to figure out the perimeter because it's for the lot. Okay, so we've got perimeter, so we're going to say side AB plus BC plus CD, okay, CD plus DE plus EA. All right, then they give us the boundary lengths in mils over here. We're basically going to add that all together, so we'll have AB, which is 40, plus BC, which is 48, plus CD, which is 23.34, okay, plus 7.5, plus 44.56, okay, then you're obviously going to add all of that together, and it will give you 163.4 meters, obviously, because this is in millimeters, so we've changed it to meters, and they do not want you to round off your answer. Okay. And because they want it in meters, you need to answer in meters for your final answer. Okay. Then it says 20 in the space below. Answer 20. Determine the total area of the existing building in square meters. 
and so we're going to now use this folding tab so we are going to start off we're going to say area and we're going to basically split our little dwelling into pieces so we'll have sort of like a line there and a line there okay so we've got four shapes and so now we're going to say a 10 times 9.2 plus then we're going to add this one here so we're going to work this out which will give us we're going to have to take a calculator sorry so we're going to start off by working out the full side length over here so if we've got 13.2 is this length here minus 9.2 that will give us four so we're going to say four times we obviously want to work out the length over here so we're going to say 10,000 minus 2,600 which gives us 7.4 and then we're going to add the last square which will be 6.2 times so we're obviously going to figure out the full length so if we have 16,400 minus 13,200 we'll get the last length will be 3.2 okay then we'll obviously times all these together which will give us certain numbers and we'll add it together and your final answer will be 141.44 meters squared okay and you need to answer in square meters so don't forget to use meters okay then the last question says in the type in the space in the title panel answer 21 draw a neat freehand the sand graphical symbol for a shower elevation and plan and be a socket outlet now one thing you need to remember is that because we are working in first orthographic projection we have the front view at the top and the top view at the bottom so when we draw our shower in neat freehand the front view will be at the top it will look like that just make sure it's really neat freehand okay and then obviously you'll have the bottom of the shower underneath that okay with your little drain okay you need to have the correct orthographical projection all right so remember front and then top okay then we've got our socket outlet and they just want you to draw a socket outlet they don't specifically want any other socket outlet like a switched one so you'll just draw the non-socket the non-switched socket outlet okay and that is the end of um question one so i hope this helped you guys a little bit sorry for getting a bit frustrated i hope the background noise didn't catch on camera um but yeah so i hope this guy has helped you guys and in the next video we'll obviously be doing our solid geometry okay